Welcome to Iron Reviews Comics, the show where I review Marvel and DC Comics. And today, we're here with a special guest. We're here with Jason from Super Comic Guru. How's your day going? It's going good. How about you, August? It's going pretty good. And today, we're doing a collaboration. We're basically going to talk about Superman and New Superman. And before we start this video, make sure to go check out Super Comic Guru's channel. He's pretty awesome. He does comic reviews as well. And what other reviews do you do, Jason? I also do Dragon Ball Super, so if you guys are into Dragon Ball, the anime, come check out my channel every Sunday. Oh, that seems pretty cool. Um, but yeah, basically check out his channel. The link will be in the description below, and I hope you enjoy this video. And basically, like I said before, we're going to do question. I'm going to ask Jason questions about the main Superman run and the new Superman run and ask him how he feels about these. And so we're going to start with the main Superman run, and here we go. The first question is, what do you think of the main story arc that's going on? All right, the Superman main story arc, it's good, where he's there building up on John, Superman's son. We get to see him as a father. Overall, it's good. I like the direction they're heading. All right. Um, do you feel like Superman's son, John? Um, do you really like Superman's son, John? And do you feel like he kind of repl replicates someone that's new to reading DC Comics? Yeah, I do like his son. The character, it's so easy to grasp. Like, it's just someone you want to like. The way he is, he's innocent. Like, you can see him. He's getting stronger every day. The way he's picking up on things. And for new readers, yeah, hell yeah. Like, they can go in. He's somebody, like I said, he's easy to grasp. He's new, and he's going to, he has a good history behind him. His dad, idol number one, like, his dad went through so much. Now he can make John's life hell of a lot easier because he's there and he has someone who understands him. Yeah, this Superman experience more. And I also really do like Superman, so I really like how he replicates someone new to reading DC Comics because he's going to ask all these questions like, hey, Dad, who's Doomsday? And what's this? And all this. And actually, yeah, exactly. we, actually, we see that in Action Comics where he basically asks, hey, what happened to Superman? What? Why is he fighting Doomsday? And Lois explains, like, basically as a new reader. And that's pretty interesting. I really like that. All right, the next question is, how do you feel about the Eradicator? All right, the funny story about the Eradicator is I didn't know it was Eradicator. Like I said in a review of mine a long time ago on my channel, I didn't really start reading Superman comics until a couple months back. They were really my thing back in the day. So when I saw Eradicator the first time, I'm like, who the hell is this guy? But when I knew Superman had died against Doomsday, because I did read Death of Superman, I didn't know. I knew of a Superman who took a spot, but I didn't know it was Eradicator. I didn't know the name. So uh, a fan actually said it in one of my videos in the comment section. So I learned about Radicator, who he was. Honestly, it's a he's a good villain for this current arc. It's working with them, and yeah, like he's a badass. Yeah. Um. In the beginning, I really didn't know who Radicator was either. Like not now, but like earlier, like before this comic even started. I was like, wait, who's the Eradicator? Like, what's he wearing? <laughs> And I was like, oh, this is from the 90s, I think? 80s? I don't know. Like, yeah, those, like, glasses, and he had the weird... Oh, I can't remember what it was. He had this, he had this weird thing on. Yeah, but he did look kind of cool. That That's what I'm going to say. Um, yeah, for the 90s, maybe. Not now. Yeah. All right, so next question is, how did you feel about the death of Crypto? Honestly, that dog, though, like, he knew, like, he knew something's going down. He jumped right in the way, no second thought, and he just took the shot for John. And I know for a fact the dog's not dead, because I did my research this time about the Eradicator, and from what I know is that when he absorbs you, they just get sent to the Phantom Zone. So the dog isn't dead, he's still alive, and he's gonna come back. Yeah, and besides, no one stays dead in comics. Like, we saw the Flash die, but he came back eventually in, like, a few yep. years. Until his rebirth. Kind of funny. Now we're doing rebirth. <laughs> All right, but, yeah, I, I really do think he's going to come back. It, I feel sad that he's died, but he's going to come back, no, no more or less. 
that's why I think. Um, the next question is, what do you think will happen between Superman, John, and the Eradicator? All right, so the, at the last page, the dog got eaten alive, and John picks up his cape, and he's like, his eyes are red with the heat vision. Like, the kid's going for some blood. Like, and Eradicator, his sights are on him. Either John is going to nail him at least once, or because he's super new to his powers, he's going to completely miss. Or maybe he might even hit his dad by mistake. You never know. But something good's going to happen in the next issue. Yeah, that's what I think. And it it was just sad. Like, John's seeing dead pets all over. Like, first his cat, <laughs> and now his dog. Oh, you brought the bird. The bird oh, oh yeah, the bird. But that wasn't his pet. Like that was a bird. Yeah, but still, he still killed an animal. Like well, well, I three know. animals. Yeah, yeah, three animals. I mean, still, I mean, that's just sad. I want to give this kid a hug. I mean, without frying me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. Remember, he also burnt his dad on the back too. Oh yeah. He bought like, that giant squid like, thing. Like he's Superman. Like he can take it. Like a regular human will get disintegrated. Yeah, but still, remember, Superman's back after? Yeah, I know. Still pretty bad. I, I know that, but he still survived. <laughs> yeah, but like like I said, his his power is very new to him. It's He's not in full control, so it's just this, like, um, enormous energy that comes into you, and you just have to let it all out at once. All right. Um. So, next question is, what do you want to see in the next arc? Next arc? I want to see a badass villain pick up the pace. Yes, the pace is good. They're going in a good direction, but we need to see more John's powers picking up. We are getting that in this issue, but they're they're kind of in that early stage. We need them to get a lot better. We need Superman to take back his role as being Superman. He hasn't really done much saving in the mainstream Superman, but Action Comics, yes, he has. So I guess you can balance that out. But in his actual storyline, he needs to do something more. Yeah, that's true. And I think more... As this arc continues, and even after this arc, I think he'll start to become a hero, and he'll still he'll still learn how to use his powers, but he'll soon enough become a new hero. Yeah. All right. So the next question is, what do you think of the art? The art's amazing. Like it looks good. There's there's at times like like I can't remember what it was one page. Uh, Superman looked really odd. Like, this... The, who's ever doing the art, I think it's not the same person at times. Because, like, the way some of the angles are drawn, it's kind of funny. But overall, it's pretty good. Like, a little cartoony at sometimes. Yeah, exactly, right? It's not that great. Like, yeah. it's like, oh, what happened right there? But overall, I think the art is great. Like, it looks... It looks great. Yeah, it does look good. But it has, think... has its flaws, right? Yeah, and I think maybe the same guy who's doing the main Superman book is going to do Super Sons, I think, which will feature John. I don't know. Like the cover at least looked like the his art. I don't know. Maybe he'll do cover art. I, I don't know. Um, but the next question is, what other Superman villains do you want to see in this series? Parasite, Brainiac, Darkseid, and Bizarro. All right. Well, Bra well Brainiac's more of a Justice League villain, but still... Brainiac's Brainiac. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think we'll see... I think we will see those villains, just not, like, right now, because I think in this main book, it's mostly going to focus on... It may... Like, one of the main focuses will be, like, John, until he gets a series, like, John and yeah. him learning how to use his powers. And I think we will see these villains. I, I mean, I know, like, Bizarro is in Red Hood and the Outlaws. Like, he's joined that series. But I think we'll still probably see these series in due time and probably in the future definitely it just needs to like take time and i also do want to see those villains like i also want to see metallo like i want to see like john confront like kryptonite i wonder if it still affects him because he's half human yeah speaking of kryptonite i think it would but not as bad as it does his dad because remember he's only half yeah, it's true, and I but think... I, I, and, and, but I think he's going to have more vulnerability to it as kryptonite poisoning. Like, remember, Lex Luthor got cancer from it. Yeah. Because he I, stuck it around for him too long. Now, John has to be careful with that, because he's yeah. only half. So I think it may just hurt him, but maybe not, like, deadly hurt him. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, and the last question for the main Superman series, what rating would you give this book, and would you recommend this comic to other people? Solid 8 out of 10. All right. The pacing's good. Uh, art's good. I like how they're building up. Typical DC. Yeah, pretty good. I would give this a... I mean, I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. Like, maybe a 9 out of 10. I really do like this. I really like John, this new character we get to see more of. He's just a fun-loving, innocent character. And... Now, that was the questions for the Superman, the main Superman run. Now we're going to do Jason's favorite comic, New Superman, the Chinese oh. Superman. Let's not get started about that. Yeah. That comic, you just ask your questions and let, let's, I, let's never I talk will. about New Superman again. I will. I will. All right. What do you think of seeing a new version of Superman in a different country? I hate it. It's 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 the biggest what? rip off alive. The biggest it is. It well, is I a rip you, off. Hold on. I thought you said earlier it was interesting and then you hated it. It is interesting, but it's still a rip a rip off is a rip off. I'm I'm not saying you can rip something off and not make it good. It's still you're you, like it's interesting there's a new Superman in a different country. There's these people are gonna see something that they never do. But just the way the way it's been like like, look, here's, like, look, look, look at the way it started. A kid's bullying another kid. He takes his lunch money every day, and then he sa saves him from a villain. Now he's become a hero. Then he gets taken into a lab. He gets Superman's power, and then the Justice League walks in on him. How do you not see a ripoff there? I like, mean... Sure, it, is, it, it is interesting, but it's a to new, be honest... I mean, it's, it's a... New, oh, hold on. Um... It's a new take on a character in a different country, and I really like how he starts out as a jerk. Like, he's a character that you shouldn't really like, but then you start to like, and I really like that. Yeah, but here's the thing about that. If you don't like the character, you didn't like it like I did, would you even come by bother going back to read it? Like, I'm not going to go back to go read it. I mean, I would just go back to see what happens next, because I'm interested. Fair enough. Yeah. All right, so the next question is, do you like Keenan being China's Superman? I think you already said it, but I want to hear it again. No, absolutely no. I hate the kid. I hate his character. Jeez. That was um, that was a short question. Do you have anything else to say? Uh, no. He's All right. Just a character. All right, there's Jason, his opinion about China's Superman. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> All right, next question is, what do you think of the villain in the first issue known as the Blue Condor? And do you think he will affect this new Superman in a way? Will Do you think he'll be, like, the main bad guy or just a one-and-done bad guy and we'll see him more often? Highly. I think he's going to be there a lot just because this new Chinese Superman just caught his powers. And it doesn't make sense to give him, like, a, like a giant opponent, like for example... Like, give him a version of Darkseid or Brainiac. It doesn't make any sense. They gotta start off small. He's still new to his powers. And Blue Condor is per makes perfect sense. He's like a villain that can keep coming back. Okay, they have a small fight. He runs away. He can come back and keep doing that as until uh, the new Superman can get stronger and he can control his powers. Yeah. I actually wonder if Keenan will have a weakness in this. Because, like, usually... Superman's weakness is kryptonite, so I wonder if those Kryptonian genes, because the scientists said they gave them Superman's powers to Keenan, so I wonder if those Kryptonian genes carry on to Keenan, and he doesn't know he's weak in the kryptonite. So he's gonna he's gonna find out eventually. Yeah, maybe not, or maybe he'll be weak to something else. Maybe like he'll just be beat easily. I don't know. But Maybe I'm very his powers interested. are temporary. He can only use them for a certain amount of time before they snooze off on him. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but the next question is, what do you think of the Justice League of China? Yeah, they're just a joke, man. When they came in, I'm like, oh, my God. When I saw the Batman one, dude, I was, I was hurting on the inside. Like, cringe. What? You, you like, were hurting? Dude, I was hurting when I saw the, like, sure, Batman is a guy in a costume, but dude, that Batman that showed up, it's like, no, that's not even Bruce. 
Let alone, it's not even Nightwing in the costume. It's not even Gordon. I'd rather see Gordon in it than I, whoever that was. I mean, what if he's faced trauma? What if his, like, sister died when he was eight? Or Yeah, you don't know that. Died. Okay, look, if they got this bully and made him a Superman, what do you think about those two? But here's the thing. They are interesting because they are new. They probably have a different past. You, we don't know. But because the way they reacted to him was like, hey, just like calm down, just sit down. Yeah. Right. Like they don't want him flying around everywhere. So there might be something. But when I saw that Batman, I was hurting on the inside. All right. Um. But I think I think these are interesting characters. I think they're funny and they are kind of a ripoff. But I like that. Like that's yeah, very they are interesting. funny. Like I had a laugh, but at the same time, I was hurting on the inside when I saw the Batman. Yeah, but I'm interested to see more, and I wonder what other members will see of the Justice League of China. Maybe it'll just be the Trinity, the Chinese Trinity. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> like it's Nothing. true. All right. Um, the next question is: What character do you like most in a series? Blue Candor, hands down. Actions He's the speak villain. louder than words. I don't, I don't care. Actions speak louder than, than words. He went in. He did his thing. He left. Well, who do you Nothing. think? Who do you think Blue Condor is, huh? Well, it's awesome. Whatever he did was awesome. Like, he, he no bitching, no complaining, nothing. Perfect. He yeah. was awesome. I wonder, Hands down. Yeah. I wonder why he ran away, like, after a can through the can. Maybe... He's someone he knows. Maybe I actually have a theory. Maybe he's his father. Maybe you never know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they'll do "I'm your father" thing, or maybe, <laughs> or maybe, cool. or maybe it's Mister Wu, like that nice guy. Yeah. I mean, he popped sure. out of nowhere. He's probably the villain. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, maybe I don't know. All right. Next question is, do you think we will see more Chinese versions of regular Superman villains? Maybe we'll see a version of a Chinese Lex Luthor, or maybe not? I don't know. Probably not. I don't think so. I think they're going to give new villains, because it wouldn't make sense having a villain in America and then also in China, right? And, like, even having a copy of them doesn't make any sense. It's because, like, why would you bother doing that? You might as well just restart... Uh, Superman again from the very beginning and not have that new 52 mess. Yeah, that's and true. Go from there, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me now to bring a Lex Luthor, bring them a different Doomsday, bring him this, bring him that. It doesn't make any sense. It's just repetitive, right? Which yeah. you don't want. I actually heard, like, um, like this new Superman series. Um, I think the villain, like, I think a villain team that's coming is going to be the Chinese version of the Freedom Fighters. We all remember that team, right? Uh, no. Which the, who were the Freedom Fighters? There were like Amer like they were like an American team that like they they were good guys. I think they're gonna be bad guys in this book. I don't know, but um, I think someone said like the Freedom Fighters are gonna be in this book, like a Chinese version. Freedom Fighters. I've heard that name. Oh, the, that group of American fighters? Yeah, that, those guys. Then, oh, yeah. Wait, they're going to bring those guys back? Um, I think, like, Chinese versions, not American versions. So I wonder oh, what they'll do. Maybe, that could be interesting. Yeah. Maybe they'll be villains, or maybe they'll just... Well, actually, um, we saw his father say, like, he's with a conspiracy group who's trying to prove that this science thing is real, so maybe he and this group is the Freedom Fighters, and they try to take this um, science thing down, and the new Superman and the Just League of China try to stop them, but the new Superman doesn't know who they are. Okay, maybe. That could work. I yeah. can see that working out. Yeah, that could work, or maybe they'll go a different direction. Maybe Blue Condor is a part of the Freedom Fighters, because... They said that Blue Condor, like, comes every few months and steals from the rich, like, terrorizes the rich, so... Yeah, and maybe they need money to continue their operations. Yeah, maybe he's... Maybe they're, like, a Robin Hood gang where they just steal from the rich, or... <laughs> I mean, it could possibly be, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. All right, and the last question we have is, what rating would you give this book, and would you recommend this book to other people? Okay, I give it a five. What? 
and you know why I didn't like it. The only reason I even gave it a five is because the art looked good and the pacing was all right. That and is it true. was interesting. But in general, I didn't like the character. I didn't like the direction they were going with it. It wasn't my type of book. But recommending for other people, yeah, if you're new to comics, go right ahead. It won't affect you. But if you've been reading them for a while, you've been watching them, yeah, this might not be your thing to pick up. But honestly, it depends on the person. Like, I just don't really relate to the character. That's why I don't really like it, but you might. Yeah, that's true, and I really do like this. I would give this an 8 out of 10, and the reason is, like, I'm interested to see new versions of characters, not just ripoffs, and, like, even though they're funny, it's interesting to see a new version, and it's actually see, it's actually nice to see, like, this new hero, like, this new Superman. Like, usually Superman is just a nice guy, like, he's an American hero who's, like, nice, while this Superman starts out as, like, a mean guy, and then... Maybe he'll be and like he'll start out arrogant, but maybe he'll learn how to use his powers and actually be good and not just do it for the fame. Maybe you never know. Yeah, and I and I would and I agree with you with the art. Like it's it's really great and it's the pacing is great as well. All right, but I think that's it. Um, thank you, Jason, for guest starring on this. I really yeah. like the collaboration. Yeah, awesome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, maybe we can do this again, maybe with Batman. I don't know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, but thank you guys for watching. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Iron Reviews. And check out my Twitter at ironhulk 18 And make sure to check out Super Comic Guru's channel. And make sure to go check him out. He has great reviews and all that. Make sure to go check out his channel. And actually, if it's up... Um, he may have a crossover video up because we did a crossover video on his channel, so go check that out. If it's not out, then just wait, I guess, I don't know. But check out his reviews. My name's August, and until then...